Hi. So a round of applause again for the great act. I think it's a great analogy to use the changing faces and looking at where cloud is and the journey that a customer goes through as they're implementing clouds and the types of changes that they will need to deal with as they do their environment. And with that, we're going to talk about how to keep your OpenStack cloud current. What are the considerations? What are the things you need to consider as you're looking at implementing your cloud? Every technology or every product goes through an evolution. That evolution gets to a point where you get past the initial innovators looking at technology and looking at uh, new things to do with and new technologies to bring into an organization and actually be able to leverage it and use it for core critical business applications that you roll to production. And once you do that, you've now moved past the innovators and you, you get into the early adopters. And the early adopters are innovators in themselves looking at how they can use new innovative technology, but being able to use them with business critical applications and use them in a production manner. And I believe that OpenStack is now at that stage. It's moved past just the innovators looking at great technology. And it's now at the point where that new technology can actually be used and can actually run critical applications. And customers are doing that more and more now. And we are getting more and more enterprises as well as service providers looking at doing this. And as you implement these, you need to consider, how do I then keep my cloud current? How, how do I address that in a way that will not impact those critical workloads that I'm running? As such, we also need to consider the underlying infrastructure or the underlying platform that we're running on OpenStack and the velocity in which that technology is actually evolving, whereby every six months there is a brand new version of the platform that makes some critical and needed uh, functionality available to you. And how do you take advantage of that? And then as that technology comes, there's a certain hardening phase that comes in the first few weeks that that new version comes out. And how do you address being able to take advantage of those new updates and also be able to update or patch your cloud and stay current with that velocity of change? And then as you work towards the latter part of that six months, you're starting to see the development and the new functionality that will be coming in the next version. And how do you prepare yourself to understand the implications and the impact that that will have on your current environment? And how do you make sure that then when that comes out, you're fully prepared to take advantage of those new features and those new capabilities and being able to, again, keep your cloud as current as you can on the latest versions. So there are some key considerations that as an enterprise or a service provider running business critical applications need to start considering that they're not necessarily available or needed when you're running a lab or you're doing a sandbox and you're evaluating the technology. Now that it's actually in production, you need to understand how do I update my cloud, but how, even more importantly, what parts of these new capabilities or these new features are actually important to me? And how do I know what are the things I should actually be looking at as opposed to everything that came out in the release? So even though it's interesting to be able to stay up with every single one of the functionality, how do I know certain critical pieces that are really applicable to my cloud, to my workloads, and then how do I address those? Other important questions as well is how do I patch it? How do I create hot fixes? How do I create patch releases to that environment how do I upgrade it to the next major release or a release in between? Or do I need to jump a certain release? And then how do I upgrade after that? How do I mitigate the risk on my existing workloads? I don't want to create an impact whereby my customers lose access to their service. So how do I ensure that through my migration process, through my upgrade process, those workloads remain active? They remain available so that I do not impact the businesses that those things run on. As well as from an enterprise perspective, there are some additional considerations that an enterprise has based on their current operating models. 
They need to understand availability that we've discussed. How do I upgrade or how do I update without impacting the current workloads? They need to understand the reliability. How do I know that when I apply this to my environment, it will not cause an interruption to my service in two days from now or 10 days from now? How reliable is that service and how can it remain so? We need to look at scalability based on the current workloads that I have, are these things going to introduce scalable um, constraints? Or are they going to impact the current scalability, uh, scalability or the availability of that service from a scalability perspective? As well as how do I maintain it? There's new technologies, there's new features, there's new code. That's new to my environment. How do I ensure that I can continue to maintain and support that new environment? Those are all important questions as I'm looking at keeping my cloud current, but as well, understanding the implications or the impact on my current workloads. With that, HP is introduced a new service called the CloudOS Distribution Network. And it's a service that helps customers understand what are the changes that are made to, the, to their underlying platform and which ones are relevant based on the configurations of their clouds, as well as what is actually currently running in their clouds. So it's not just a new version of OpenStack comes, but it's how relevant are those changes and which changes are relevant based on your current configuration. And when you look at a particular migration strategy, then it depends again on the configuration of your clouds and what you currently have running. So if you look at the simpler type services, services like Keystones or services like Glance, we believe that we can do an easy rolling upgrade whereby we upgrade the service to the next version and then it will have minimal impact if no impact on the current environment. Again, assessing what actually changed within those services and then how they impact the configurations that I have. When you're looking at a more complex service, so you're looking at a Nova service or you're looking at a Neutron, those are more complex services and they have a greater chance of actually impacting what you currently have. So those, we're looking at a side-by-side -side whereby you install a new version of the service and then slowly you start migrating workloads onto the new version and then the new version expands in breadth and you start contracting the side of the, um, the, the old one to eventually you can phase it out in the environment. But it gives you time to, to address, to and analyze, and to ensure that you are not going to cause a negative impact on your environment. So with that, we welcome you to come and join us at the booth. If you have any questions, we'd be more than happy to discuss your experiences or any concerns you may have. As well as if you haven't signed up, we are having a raffle around 1.30, I believe. We're giving some slates away, so please come and sign us at the booth, or sign up at the booth and come and see us. We'd love to talk to you about our strategy. Thank you.